Antarctica was once home to a sprawling tropical rainforest teeming with exotic flora and fauna 90 million years ago. However, everything changed when the Ice Age arrived, and it became the tundra we know today. With a landmass of 13.7 million square kilometers, the majority of which is completely covered in ice and snow all year, many mysteries are lurking beneath the surface. To begin, one of the images you would least expect to see tucked among Antarctica's pure white blanket. Blood Falls is a suitable moniker for the horrible red liquid that pours out the side of Taylor Glacier, which was discovered almost 100 years ago by geologist Griffith Taylor. For a long time, scientists were baffled as to what caused the unexpected occurrence. Taylor came to the conclusion that it was due to red algae. We now know, however, that it's an iron-rich salty liquid that forms beneath the glacier. Water freezes as it reaches the surface, but due to its high salt content, blood has a far lower freezing point. While the scientific explanation isn't as fascinating as many might think, Blood Falls is a one-of-a-kind monument that wouldn't appear out of place in any classic horror film. The largest ice shelf in Antarctica, a piece of floating ice the size of France that's attached to the continent's main landmass, has a strange way of speaking to explorers. As the wind moves across the rough surface of the Ross ice shelf, low tones emit almost continuously. Although the vibrations are too low for human hearing, accelerated recordings can capture the enigmatic sounds of the ice. It was first heard in 2018 and is compared to a didgeridoo. The never-ending drone must have surprised the scientists and they might have even wondered if there was anything else on the vast expanse. Speaking of possibly not being alone, hallucinations have been known to be brought on by the harsh surroundings and irregular sunlight hours. The third man factor refers to instances where explorers perceive a presence as shadows are cast across the seemingly endless plains, and it was alluded to in T.S. Eliot's poem The Wasteland from 1922. This particular allusion was influenced by Ernest Shackleton's Antarctic Expeditions, where it was thought that everyone had a common experience. People who are going through the most traumatic and desperate times of their lives are meant to find solace in the event. It's reasonable to assume that it significantly impacts some unfortunate people's final moments. It would be an enormous understatement to call the conditions in Antarctica harsh, and as a result, many of the first explorers perished in the 19th and 20th centuries. Thankfully, modern travel to the continent is much safer thanks to advancements in technology and other safety measures. Although the precise number of deaths over the years is unknown, it is certain that not everybody has been found. The best estimates place hundreds of frozen and buried corpses in the ice. Even though there are no permanent residents, murder does occasionally occur. Unconfirmed rumors claim that a Russian scientist killed a fellow scientist in 1959 with an axe after losing a game of chess. Visitors must keep an eye out for a variety of dangerous animals, including orcas and leopard seals. However, some of Antarctica's smaller animals have the potential to be enigmatic and mildly unsettling. Some animals found nowhere else on Earth call Antarctica home because of its distinctive ecosystem. For instance, in 2014, a brand new species of transparent fish was found in the water. The ice-covered seas beneath the ice shelves, which are more than half a mile deep, were once thought to be completely inhospitable to life by eminent scientists. This little fish, though, defied the odds. It might not be the deadliest predator, but some people might have nightmares about it because of its transparent skin and visible brain. What could be more terrifying than a massive, miles-long icy landmass? Perhaps in the center of this massive icy landmass, there's a gaping hole that spans thousands of square miles. Furthermore, no one is aware of the origin of the hole or what lies within it. This is what happened when a polynia, the name for a sizable ice hole with a surface area of about 3,700 square miles, was first noticed in 2017. It would grow in size by more than eight times over the coming weeks. In the same location, a polynia debuted in the 1970s before closing down. Researchers now think a strong cyclone passing through is what caused it which gives us yet another reason to avoid the area completely. The magnetic North Pole is where compasses are always supposed to point, but what happens as you cross Antarctica and get closer to the South Pole? The magnetic fields of Earth move much more directly towards the top or bottom because they move much more straight around the spherical shape of the planet. As a result, compasses won't be accurate or might not function at all near the South Pole. Fortunately, everyone who explores knows this and takes other safety precautions to avoid getting lost. 
The broken compasses, according to some conspiracy theorists, are a planned ruse to deter travelers from visiting specific regions of the continent. If so, what exactly is being kept secret? Could a swarm of alien spaceships have crash-landed on Earth? Several satellite photographs have surfaced that show odd formations and marks that some say are indications of extraterrestrial activity. For example, NASA released photographs from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter of an unnamed spacecraft that crashed into the Moon. The impact created an interesting crater on the Moon's far side. The photographs sparked a frenzy among conspiracy theorists on social media, with some hailing them as proof of alien activity. There is, however, a much simpler explanation. An out-of-control missile caused the divot. In another case, a satellite image shows South Georgia Island, a snowy, mountainous island off the coast of Antarctica in the Atlantic Ocean, where a block of something appeared to have slid over the snow, leaving traces behind. Some thought it was proof of a crashed UFO. However, geologist Richard Waller of Keele University believes that the most likely answer is not aliens or a strangely shifted submarine, but Earth simply being Earth. He explained that this feature appears to be tied to a massive avalanche from a nearby mountain, there's currently no substantial evidence to support the hypothesis of extraterrestrial spaceships crash landing on Earth, and skeptics have proposed a variety of interpretations for the photograph's apparent peculiarities, such as shadows, mountains, or abandoned research facilities. Using a large hot water drill, researchers discovered a never-before-seen ecosystem lurking in an underground river deep beneath the ice surface of the Larsen Ice Shelf. The hidden habitat is located in a vast chamber, 1,640 feet or 500 meters below the ice surface. The underground structure was discovered after researchers saw an unusual groove in a satellite photograph of the ice sheet, but they never expected to find anything within when they eventually drilled down to explore it. Instead, the team discovered thousands of amphipods, which had them jumping up and down for joy. While taking routine bottom sediment samples in the Scotia Sea, researchers unintentionally discovered DNA from ancient microbes, some of which are approximately 1 million years old. The ancient genetic material was recovered from the depths of up to 584 feet beneath the seafloor and dates back between 1 million and 540,000 years. Scientists aren't sure whose species the oldest DNA samples belong to. But the most recent samples are believed to be diatoms, a type of phytoplankton. The diatoms date back to a prehistoric age of global warming and may provide insight into how Antarctica's marine ecosystems will respond to human-caused climate change.